Hello, hi, and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Sarah, and this is Wicked Reading. So I'm filming this intro after everything in this video is said and done. I went to go edit and piece together my clips, and I realized I never really fully introed this video, and I also didn't outro it, so you will see me in this form again at the end of the video. But anyways, this is a very different video for me, so I kind of apologize ahead of time because some of the clips are questionable. There's just like a lot of spotty lighting. Um, just it's not a perfect piece of cinematography. I kind of realized after I started editing that I really didn't take the time necessarily to set up the most aesthetically pleasing angles or clips. I was kind of in the mindset of just getting it done because this did end up turning into a multi weekend project. So a lot of the time I was just kind of trying to get things done and I really underestimated how many books I had and how difficult it would be to finally organize them in some type of succinct way. So in this video, I am not only creating bookshelves and organizing my books, but I decided to completely transform my spare bedroom, which was previously acting as a very multifunctional room, which it still is, but it started to become very cluttered. It was the room that I got ready in. It was the room that I filmed in. It was the room that held storage where we didn't know where else to put stuff. It was the room that had all my books in it and I didn't have enough bookshelf space. So there's piles of books everywhere. It has the cat litter box in it. It was just very multifunctional, but with that, it became very, very cluttered and it was a room I no longer wanted to go in and that just didn't feel good. So I decided to undertake the project of completely transforming the room. It is still very multifunctional. It is still my get ready slash library slash filming room, but it has become so much more cohesive. The space that I have in it is so much more usable. There's so much more storage. There's so much less clutter and it feels good and it feels cozy to be in it. And I'm so in love with how everything turned out. So this video is not only a shelf organization, but a complete library transformation. And it felt very vulnerable, especially in the beginning because the room was very messy. The room was very messy and it was a little bit embarrassing in the beginning, but I'm on the opposite side of it now and I love it and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So that's it. Let's get into organizing and completely transforming my library space. Okay, so it's an absolute mess in here right now, but this is like where my current books are, just this like bookshelf, which I will probably get rid of. We're gonna see how the books with the new bookshelves layout if I need more room. I have this little caddy I don't know what I'm doing with yet. And then we have so many just like piles of books everywhere else. There's a bunch of piles over there too. So I think this back wall is where I'm gonna have most of the stuff. So right now we're gonna do the cabinet first so then I can clear off a lot of this stuff and get rid of this desk and have everything in this cabinet once it's together. And then I think I'm gonna do like a bookshelf on each side. We're gonna kind of see once they're together how it looks. And then either this side or that corner, like this corner or that corner have the chair. So this is kind of the very messy before. Um, and hopefully it looks a lot better after. Yay! That's upside down though. Nope. Why? Because if it goes... Well, here. You sure? I'll take... I'll have you look. Yeah. You're right. Just in this picture, it shows it the opposite. No, it doesn't. Look, your holes are here. Oh, no. Yeah, we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so... All right, back, back to previous step.
is the next weekend. So here's the update. So we did one shelf on one side and another shelf on the other side. And we left enough room where if I decided I needed a third shelf, it would easily fit. Even a fourth shelf, if I wanted to, it will fit perfectly. And I started putting my books on shelves. And as I was sorting them, I kind of realized that I have a lot more books than I thought. And I also don't necessarily want my shelves packed. I wanted to have some like space for like knickknacks and, th and stuff. So um, I already ordered a third one. So we're gonna put that together. And I think it's gonna go in this corner. And then the chair, I'm probably gonna have kind of in this corner. And then here's this mess right now, more books. This shelf is going, this little cube is going. And yeah, so it's still a bit of a mess right now. So we're gonna put together the third shelf and then get rid of some of this extra furniture in here to clear some space and start sorting the books and organize the room like nicely. I moved the lamp that was sitting there to another side of the room, which I should have done way earlier because this lighting is so much better than the light bulb blasting the camera. So sorry about that. <laughs> I've had very spotty lighting this whole video. Anyways, so we have the third shelf up and um, you can't see it all. There it is, third shelf up in all its glory. So I'm going to start organizing these books. Um, I have stuff everywhere, <laughs> but I did try to separate certain stuff out. So like this is all horror with some thriller. This is mostly all fantasy um, with a bunch of random other miscellaneous stacks. So I'm gonna try to kind of figure it out as I go too. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do kind of like fantasy horror and then like some miscellaneous stuff. Although I do have my fairy loot. I'm gonna have my fairy loot additions and like special sprayed edge additions going along the top of all of these. Um, so I have enough to fill up up to that point right now. But uh, yeah, those are active subscriptions. So I will continue to get those anyways. Um, oh, and I wanna show you guys really quick some of the stuff I picked up today from Home Goods. This bookend <laughs> is so cute. Look at it, oh my God, it's wood. And it's got little mushrooms on it. And I have a plan for the books that I'm gonna like line up with this on. I'm really excited, I'll share later. And then I did get this wood butterfly just because it matches like that bookend. So I thought this would be nice to put somewhere. I didn't really know what theme I was going for, for in here, but it's kind of turning into like cottage core E um, in a way. So yeah, I also, picked up these lights today. They're like rose gold um, fairy lights with little stars on them. I have two boxes. Although now I wish I had more because there's two in each of these, I think. Or maybe not. But these were the only ones they had. 10 feet total length. So each of these is 10 feet total length. And I was kind of thinking of having them wind around these bars, but this won't be enough. But I do also have some string lights with fake ivy leaves on it, but I don't know how that would look, so maybe I'll have to use all of them. We'll see. And um, that's it for now. <laughs>
the next day and I am finally done with my library room. I'm super excited with how it turned out. It feels so much less cluttered and way more cohesive and cozy. And I'm so excited to finish up this video and sit down and read in my little chair. So I'm gonna do just a quick kind of brush over the room and over the shelves. I may do a more in-depth like full book tour, like all the books I own. Um, if that is something you guys are interested in, I could do that in the near future because I do still actually have more books than this. Um, and I ended up getting rid of a ton while I was organizing these shelves. Let me just say, I did not get as much B footage of me putting the books away because it was taking me so long. I would just put a book up, stare at it for like five minutes, move books around. It was a lot more involved than I thought. And I'm happy with how some of it turned out, but some of it, I don't know. I might move around some things still. I'm not super happy with how some of the shelves look, but overall, I do really like the way everything turned out and just like how the room feels now. And yeah, so I'm gonna get behind the camera. All right, so library tour. So it's a, it's a, still a little bit messy in some spots, but I have my super cozy chair. Uh, I mean, it's not that cozy. Hi, Winnie. It's not like super, super cozy, honestly, but nothing some blankets and some pillows can't take care of, but I love how it like pulls out. I'm pretty much probably gonna keep it pulled out most of the time, but I love how it pulls out, but I can also push it in to save space and room. Uh, just like a little side table there. This is like my get ready area. This mirror was actually on this wall previously, but I decided to move it because I actually thought that having it opposite of the window would reflect more light into the room. So I moved that. Um, this is like my physical media uh, DVD Blu-rays, but I do have my Harry Potter books down there. But um, that's like a totally different thing. <laughs> Anyways, so I have my little side table with I, this lamp, which I really liked when I saw it, but I don't know that I'm loving the light that it's putting out. It's just like a super, you know, um, exposed light bulb and it's a little too harsh. So I don't know how I feel about that lamp right now. But anyways, a uh, little candle, of course, snacks, drink, all that. So the shelves. <laughs> so the cabinet, I love. I really like the way this came out and um, it's just great storage and that's what I wanted was to have like better storage units. That's like the perfect size. So this shelf here is most of my fantasy. So I have my Fairy Loot Special Editions and then I have kind of like um, just like straight up fantasy for the most part. I have my YA fantasy and then this is like adult fantasy. This is just a little random area of fantasy books but I actually really like the way that they look next to each other like the coloration I really like. I put the little butterfly there. I did want to have more breaks and spaces in my bookshelves. Honestly I could probably use a fourth bookshelf because it's a little bit tighter than I even intended but anyways. This shelf I have my Carissa Broadbent and uh, Fourth Wing and some other fantasy romance down there and then my Piper CJ and uh, Sarah J Mass fantasy romance. And then there's like another fantasy romance that I haven't read, don't know much about. Anyway, this shelf down here <laughs> that's like hidden is kind of a mosh posh. I have kind of like sci-fi, dystopian, and then my all my Neil Gaiman are down here. And then it's just kind of random. Like I have Song of Achilles, I have some historical fiction. I don't know. It's kind of a mosh posh down there. This is pretty much set up exactly how my cube was set up behind me in my videos. Uh, the only difference is pretty much that I added this, which I totally love. It's just this cute little box with a mirror inside. And it's so pretty. I got it at TJ Maxx for 13 bucks. So I loved that. So I added that there and there's a candle, but this is pretty much set up the exact same. And then these shelves are mostly horror. I do have my remaining fairy loot fantasy special editions. And then I have Throne of Glass. Um, and then this little area with the mushrooms, this is kind of like some of my horror books that tie in nature and like fungi. So I thought that was cute. So that's kind of like super niche 
genre specified. And then I did this shelf is kind of like random horror plus this like thriller and it's just a little rainbow. <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna do like these first two shelves like rainbow all across but I didn't really have enough. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't, whatever. <laughs> Those might move around at some point. The shelf is a little bit random too. So I have like my white covers. For some reason I felt the need to keep them all together because all my white covers also seem to have red. So I don't know. It just felt like those should all stay together for some reason. And then I have Slewfoot displayed, even though it's not my favorite Brahm book, but I love the artwork. And then this little random <laughs> too. I did not know where to put you. I don't have many thrillers. I literally have this and Bur Burning Girls and that's my only two thrillers. So <laughs> I just kind of snuck that in there because I feel like it camouflages okay. These are just two random ones that were kind of brown so I felt like they looked okay with it. And this is my little seasonal section. This is all my like Christmas horrors. And then the shelf is pretty much just all my black horror books. This shelf, I really actually like the way it came out. It's a little bit random, um, but it mostly has books that are kind of like feminist literature in a way. So we have like Circe and the Witch's Heart, which are two mythology retellings, like a witchy historical book, a horror literary, but it's all like women-centric stories. And then Addie LaRue, which is like a historical fiction um but they all kind of have like blue green earthy tones going on so i don't know i like the way that that shelf came out this shelf got away from me like a lot actually <laughs> so it was originally gonna be like i was gonna put all my feminist slash weird lit books together which this mostly is that but there's a little there's some oddballs in here and then I really, I was trying to keep all the Catriona Ward's books together and I just like couldn't find a good spot that I liked to have them like stacked together. So those are kind of shoved on there, but this is mostly like weird lit and like feminist lit. Yeah, I don't know. It's like sad girl and weird girl vibes. Then these two shelves I might switch. I might put my manga on this one. This is just like, <sighs> <laughs> this got away from me too. So I wanted to have my Rachel Harrison books together. Um, so there's those two. And then this is just like the remaining horror that I could not fit on any other shelf or could not figure out a way to combine them with any other books, like either colorway wise or genre wise so it's just like my miscellaneous horror that i had nowhere else to put i really wanted my best friend's exorcism to be at the end of my rainbow shelf but it won't fit um i might move a few books around here and there but yeah this is kind of random <laughs> anyways and then this is my nonfiction slash memoirs this is mostly like romance and re slash relationship um because i don't have that many so there's that little section and then this shelf turned into a nostalgic shelf for me pretty much so i have a couple of classic s sitting there like i don't have many i have five classics and then some goosebumps and scary stories to tell in the dark so like some middle grade nostalgic books and then all of these like this book I wrote a report for in college and I really liked it these are from high school and then this um fallen series is from high school too I was not a twilight girly I was a fallen series girly so I was weird anyways and then this is all my like grad school books that I cannot get myself to get rid of because they were so expensive so I keep my grad school books and I'm back in this form so that was the video. <laughs> that was me transforming my room. Um, I did since hang up that little snake guy. Actually, let me show you up close. There he is. Super cute. I'm going to actually, I decided I'm going to make this like a gallery wall. So there's actually going to end up being more stuff. <laughs> but that is for another day. Oh, and I did end up getting a TBR cart. So there's that. And uh, yeah, so those, sorry, I'm trying to put my camera back. Those are the shelves. And... 
this is my room and I love it. So that is everything for today's video. If you made it to this point in the video, leave me Leave me a cat emoji down below so that I know. If you haven't yet, please give the video a like, subscribe for future content, turn on the bell notification, all the fun YouTube things that help your girl out, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!